So the first thing that we need to do is we have to create a folder in your Google Drive, which says uh, just anything, and then create a Google Form. So in your Google Form, uh, you have to place your title. I'm going to name this as Attendance. And then you can write any description here, depending on the situation that you're in. I mean, this is your attendance. And then uh, what you're going to write here is, of course, the full name, the full name that's going to come out of the certificate. You, you're supposed to make it as a required information. And then in here, you can write email, and then it will automatically detect that you're asking for an email address. And then it will automatically say that it is a required data. Next, you click on responses. Then you, you're going to see email and full name. So what we need to do here is we need to create a spreadsheet by clicking that green thing over there. And then click on create. So once you have clicked that, you're going to see two files now. Attendance forms and then the attendance spreadsheet. So what's inside the spreadsheet? is of course the answers to your Google Forms and then of course if you have your certificate all you have to do is skip this part and then upload your own certificate but if not it's create you can create from scratch Say, for example, this is a certificate of participation. Is awarded to. Then, this is what we call as a tag double arrow left and then double arrow right. Then, write full name. Full name there corresponds to the form that you have created. So, when you write full name of the form, I guess you need to write full name here. It's going to say signed. And then I'm going to save this. I'm going to name this as certificate certification that'd be better so now you have three files and then we go to our Google Sheets you have to click on add-on and then there's an add-on called autocrat all you have to do is get that add-on and then click on launch Once you've launched it, this is going to be the prompt. It says no merge set up yet. So all you have to do is name your merge job. You can name it anything you want. I'm going to name it this way. And then you have to click on the certificate that you've just created or uploaded. Click on that. which contains the tags of course and then click on next so it's already recognized our tag it says their full name and then this is the name that's gonna come out of the email so this is certificate for the full name Then use the tag and then we're gonna make this as a PDF certificate attachment then click on next choose a destination folder add a dynamic reference this is optional you don't really need to do this set a merge condition so this is also optional but then I want to make this as 
a time stop then timestamp then null so do you want to share docs so of course and then this is one of the important parts you have to copy the email address tag then type the subject your certificate see attached file you can actually slow this video down if you want click on next and then sometimes this is going to take too long so all you have to do is run the form on trigger you have to do it as yes So as you can see we're done with that it moved to yes and then click on save so once it's saved it's gonna be an existing job all you have to do is click on play and then as you would notice there are headers there that would come out on your sheet just close it because it's already running now so what we're going to do here is we're gonna test it so I'm gonna try it on my other email account that I, that I just made gonna write a name there click on submit and then we're going to see if it's working we're, we're going to know if it's working if you see those things autofill so you can see there's already uh, something that's written there and then this the links are already provided see that oh that's not the one sorry so every time someone answers your attendance there's going to be a pdf file and then the system is automatically going to send that to the email that was provided so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to check my email if it really sent it and there we go it's there it it attached the PDF file containing the name so this is how you do an automatic certificate and hope this helps.